As I mentioned, Halloween is the template for Scream, and as the main antagonist, Billy is very aware of that. He sees Laurie Strode hiding in the closet and realizes that Sydney must be doing the same. However, before he can act, she strikes first by stabbing him with an umbrella, causing him to drop the knife and the gun. He's saved when Stu uses the last of his energy to bum rush her, but she's able to put him out of commission in the living room. Randy comes back too, so Billy swiftly knocks him back out with a punch to the face and pins down Sydney, telling her to say hello to her mother. She jabs a finger into his wound, causing him to scream out, and just before he can thrust his knife down onto her, a recently reawakened Gail Weathers shoots him in the chest. Guess I remember the safety that time. Bastard. This might have been enough to kill a normal person, but I like to believe that Billy was so motivated to make his life a movie that he held on just a little bit longer so he could have that one last scare moment that he had seen in so many of his favorite films. Sydney is ready for it though and delivers a headshot to put an end to the terror that plagued Woodsboro over the last year.